What's happening budget builders? Welcome back to the channel. Once again, I just want to thank everyone so much for all the positive support we've had on this channel. A lot of people have been asking, so I want to bring it back for you guys. Here's the Volkswagen Rabbit pickup truck behind me. Today, let's get this truck running on its own fuel tank. Let's take it for a cruise around the neighborhood and let's get it washed up. First thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and get this thing jacked back up. I'm going to try to get that tank. I think the tank's pretty decent. I'm going to try to clean it out the best I can with it in the truck. You know, we do have that. That's a pretty good fuel filtration system that this truck has. But let's flush it through a few more times and see what we have coming out of it. I'll try to take a peek in there, really get a good idea. All right. While we're letting this thing drain out a little bit more, I want to show you guys just how solid this truck is underneath. Dented up as always, these things sit so low, but no kind, no kind of major rust anywhere. And even right here is just the coating peeling. Super solid. That thing's look pretty good. Rockers look nice. But we're gonna go ahead and finish getting this drained. I'll put a little bit more fresh in it. Get it to where it's got some good clean fuel coming out. And then we'll get it up to the injection pump and fire back off again. All right, y'all. So while we're waiting on that to drain, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum up a little bit up here. Try to get some of the crud cleaned up so it's not trying to breathe anything down the intake or get down in the fan or in the in the belt here. I, I did go ahead and put a return line as it was leaking and went ahead and hooked this up to the tank. I didn't have a another filter laying around for the time being and everything's closed today. So I went ahead and just blew out the air filter that I had so we can stick that on for now so we can take it for a little drive. But we'll grab the vacuum cleaner out real quick. Let's clean everything up and, and get ready to fire this sucker up. some good stuff back in here got a craftsman screwdriver it's always a nice find found the battery hold down it's nice to have plus we got some washers the hanger for the back of the motor and some a nice rusty bolt positive shield. Look at that. I say that shot. <laughs> oh, it was a, was a remanufactured injector. Another bolt. A eh, couple cool little things. got some surface rust but even with everything sitting in there it's actually still pretty solid look what we found you guys want to see if that's an extra key <laughs> check that out what all do we have on here? Oh, apparently we got three keys keys for this thing, and that's all. Sorry, that's some Ford keys and a house key. 
We got an ignition and a trunk. Nope, an ignition and a trunk key there. Well, that's cool though. We got a few extra keys for this thing. All right, y'all. So I give up waiting. We're gonna go ahead and do it right like we should have in the first place and drop this tank get it slosh it out and make sure it looks pretty good on the inside there oh, no. oh, we sat right down on this bucket So we got that gas tank pulled out. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be able to see in there. A little bit of moisture right here, but as far as down in there, it's extremely clean. I think this tank was left just about full, which is a nice thing because when it's down a little bit, especially knowing that it had some gas in there, the ethanol and that fuel will condensate and create moisture inside the tank and it'll create a lot of rust and, and issues down the line. And so, actually pulling this tank out, you've got your two, your two straps that bolt on. You got your two lower fuel lines. Let's see. You've got a vent, another little vent at the sending unit, the sending unit lines, and then the filler, of course. So pretty, pretty straightforward drop, uh, not too terrible to do. We got this thing out, let's go ahead and try to pour what's left in it out, flush it a couple times, get it bolted back up in there, get some fresh diesel in it. All right, y'all, so we got the gas tank back in, we got it fueled up. If we want to take this thing for a spin, this tire is no bueno. So I'm gonna have to switch it out real quick. I don't have many four by hundreds laying around anymore. I used to have a bunch, but as I've gotten rid of some of my rabbit, my Volkswagen and stuff, I've gotten gotten rid of those wheels. So I'm gonna try a couple, see if I can get a, see if I can get one to fit on here just for the time being so we can run around. Oh, wait a second. That's 37 Harley Knucklehead. That probably won't work. Uh, 
think that one might be a little too big. I don't know if that one's gonna work either. <laughs> All right, well, just kidding. I don't have anything. That's really scary, but we're gonna send it. It's just around the street, right? Just around the block. <laughs> All right, so everything's kind of stuck back together. Kind of got a battery stuck in there. I've had a few laying around, but obviously nothing that fits very well. I have to run, get a new one from the store. If anybody wants to sponsor some batteries, let me know. <laughs> but let's see if this thing will crank up on its own fuel. It's kind of, a, it's like 72 degrees here today, which is ridiculous. It was snowing last year this time, I think. It's a little warm, but it'll be good for this thing to fire up. So let's see what she'll do. thing wants to back up a little bit. Ha ha! Oh, got some brakes. Let's wa let's wash this windshield off so we can take this thing around the block. There's the first little kind of rough up cleaning. You can see it. Windows are in excellent shape on this truck, which is a plus. Kind of clean some of that crud off. Still, oh, sorry. Still got some up here. Needs to be taken care of. You still see a lot of the yellow rust, wet sanding and I will wet sand and compound this truck. We'll take a lot of that off, but obviously we'll leave some. But realistically, I don't think it'll be as ratty as I was thinking it was gonna be. <laughs> it may, it'll still be kind of a patina truck. Hadn't cleaned the inside yet. I wanna turn the, run the truck around, turn it around, pull it up, and then we'll wash the inside of the bed out. As you can see, 
little truck cleans up really nice sucks we ended up popping off the badge but i'm going to clean that up and put that back on there that's just really cool to have you can see the side isn't quite as clean the truck definitely cleans up better than it appeared and i think we'll come out really well with a little bit of wet sand and compound of wax but i'm happy and it'll look a lot better with that bumper off of it but let's let's take this thing for its first drive and see how it does Well, that didn't go quite as planned. <laughs> Let's give it a retry. Just kind of. Uh, uh, uh. Got some brakes hanging up.
Okay. All right, guys, well, there it was, our first test drive. Obviously, still a lot more to do. We overhaul-wise on that engine and, and everything under the hood there. Need to do a lot of work to the brakes, as you saw there in the video. But we're getting there. It's, it's, it runs, it drives, and that's a great starting point. I'm, I'm extremely happy with it, and I hope you guys are too. Went ahead and pulled the truck facing up towards the garage so we can clean the bed of the truck out a little bit. going to wrap it up for this episode i hope you're as happy to be able to run this thing around the block as i am i really enjoy this little truck i'm happy to see it running and be able to drive it next episode we'll get more into the engine compartment here get some get a few more things wrapped up so it's a little bit more drivable and start messing with those brakes if you guys want to see more on this build and my other builds be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell once again i want to thank you guys so much have a great day